In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form using your laptop. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser and make sure you've signed in with your Gmail account. So you'll find it on the top right over here. After that, you'll have to search forms.google.com. So search for this. And here you have a few options. So they have some pre-made templates which you can go through. If you just click on the template gallery over here, then here you can see the entire list of templates. But in this video, I'll show you how to create a form from scratch. For that, click on blank that's over here. And now we can start creating our form. So the first thing you should do is add a title to the form. So just double click on untitled form that's written on top. And here you can enter any title you want. After that, you can add a description below over here. And one thing you should do is give a name to the form on the top left over here so that you can later find this form. So I'll just click on it once and it's automatically changed the name. Once you're done with this, we can start adding questions to the form. So for that, just click on untitled question that's over here and enter whatever question you want to ask. So for now, I'll ask the person's name. And then in this box, I can decide what type of an answer I want. So if you click on it, you can see all of the options like a paragraph, multiple choice, check boxes, and I'll show you these later in the video. For now, I'll select short answer since I'm asking the name. Another thing you can do is make this question required by just pressing this bar over here. So this means that a person must answer this question to submit the form. Now I'll add another question. For that, I'll click on the plus button that's over here. Again, you can type in the question here. This time I'll ask, are you above 18? And since the answer is a multiple choice, it's automatically changed by Google Forms. Now I'll add the two options, which are yes and no. So I'll click on option one and type in yes and then click on add option that's below. And as you can see, no has automatically come. And now I'll quickly add one more question. Again, I'll click on the plus button, then type in the question I want to ask. As you can see, it's automatically changed this to a paragraph answer since I'm asking for comments. I'll quickly show you some more features that they have. So you can duplicate questions by clicking on this icon that's over here. So if I click on it, as you can see, comments has come twice. And if I want to delete a question, I can click on the delete icon that's over here. And now it's gone. And they also have undo and redo, which is on the top right over here. Another thing you can do is change the order of questions. So if you click on the dots over here, then you can drag the questions and change the order. So if you want to see how the form looks, they have an option for that as well. You can click on the preview button that's over here. So just click on it. And this is how the form will look to people who are filling it in. As you can see, the heading and description have come. After that, every question has a red star next to it. And this means that it's required. So now I'll go back to the form. The next setting I'm going to show you is customizing the theme of the form. For that, click on this icon that's over here. And here we have a few options. So we can change the font and font size for the header, the question and the text. Then I can add a header image, which will show above the title. For that, you'll have to click on choose image. Then you can select any from here or else you can upload it from your laptop. And now there's one last setting, which is changing the color of the form. So they have some options over here and you can pick whichever one you like. Now that the form is ready, we've added all the questions, changed the theme. There's only one thing left to do and that's share the form with others. To do this, you have to click on the send button, which is on the top right over here. And here, there are different ways to share the form. So the first option over here is via email, where you enter all the email addresses and then you can click on send. Then the second way is by sending a link. So you can shorten the URL by clicking on this button. And then you can just copy this 
and share it with others. Now that we know how to share the form with others, let's see how to go through responses after people start filling in the forms. So to check the responses, you have to go to the responses page which is over here. And here, there are three ways to see the responses. One is a summary of all responses. So for each question, you can see the responses over here. After that, if you click on question, then in this, you can see the responses question by question. And the third way is individually. So here you can see how each person actually filled in the form. There's one more way to see all the responses, which is my favorite method, and that is linking all the responses to a spreadsheet. So you can do that by clicking on this green button over here, which is to create a spreadsheet. Here select create a new spreadsheet and then click on create. As you can see, all the responses have come here. And one thing which I really like is that this automatically updates every time a person submits the form. Now I've come back to the form and I'll quickly show you the settings page that's over here. So here they have many settings like making this a quiz where you can assign points to questions and it'll automatically grade it. Then they have settings for the responses, whether you want to collect the email address and a lot more. So overall, there are a lot of settings, but if you want to know how to make a quiz or how to share responses of a form, you can check out these videos over here. So I hope this video helped you. Goodbye.